So as it goes, I've already touched upon the topic of white saviors, but I've decided to take a further dive into this topic to just see the impact of what they have done in today's society. And for starters, I only think that they've done negative. And in their pursuit of a positive life, they've done quite the opposite. And instead, ended up in a life being more negative. But I must say first and foremost, hey yo, I'm toasted. Uh, ideas. And here I talk about things that interest me. I like to think about things critically and have my own opinion because then I'm not a sheep to any specific person or thing. I cover topics from the left to topics from the right, while also not forgetting about the topics in the middle of absolutely nowhere. But who is a white savior? Well, from my view, I typically see them on X, TikTok, or YouTube reactionary clips of TikTok. And from that, they are typically the people fighting the fight of a non-existence because people just typically don't listen to them because they have such polarizing ideals that even those who they're fighting for don't listen to them. Though, to continue on, I have to question, what is the mindset of these people? Because they're by far one of the most excluded groups of today that not even black people like them. My point was that black kids in Chicago get killed every single day. Where is the Black Lives Matter in Chicago? Where are they? When black people kill black people, they don't come out and do this crap. The only time they do this crap is when a white person touches them. They are the racist. They are the racist. Because white, people, white cops, it's wrong for a white cop to kill a black person, that's for sure. But if it matters, it should matter at all times. So what are you fighting for? What are you fighting for? You're not here to fight injustice. You're here a to cause drama. A will be stop violence. It's not about what? blacks. In a unicorn world. That's not a unicorn the violence, world. Period. Okay. Since you're so... You guys are so you're blacks are oppressed. I am black. I'm not oppressed. That's I am for you. free. That's good for you. That's an individual person. What about a systemic issue? Where? I am black. I've always wanted to be. I have a... Gra like, I do what I want. You have the skills. This is a country where you have the skills. You want to do what you want. You do it. Okay. Stop stop forcing on people to accept that they're oppressed. They are not. I am not oppressed. I am black. Cool. We square. I know we're not because I'm going to have to come back and say all this again. So subscribe to the channel. And furthermore, not even black people who are on the complete side of Black Lives Matter like them. Well. I didn't want to have to say this, but it needed to be said because all white people are guilty of it. Yes, all. I don't mean most. No, I don't mean some. I don't mean a lot. I mean literally every single last one of them. Don't give me that not all white people. Yes, all. This is no stereotype, no generalization, and definitely not no reverse racism. It is a fact. They know it. We know it. They know we know it. They know we know that they know we know it. All white people are guilty, 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 guilty of this. All right, if you're white and you made it this far in the video, congratulations. Here's a cookie. Here's pumpkin spice. What I need you to do next is go into the comments and any white person that you see leaving a racist or reactionary comment without having finished this video to know that I didn't actually say anything that all white people are guilty of, I want you to leave a clown emoji under that comment without context. Just do that for me. In fact, you can even share this and do it to the people on your friends list. Do that work. Black people, sit this one out. We out, you. Now. Although that video is a joke video, I do have to say that I really want that cookie. It looked kind of delicious, not gonna lie. But the point still stands that nobody likes these white saviors. And my guess, which let me know if you think I'm wrong in this opinion, I believe that just like how there are people who are legitimately racist, I believe that these white saviors are just the opposite, but doing the exact same thing. White privilege. What? Think about it. Whose flesh tone is this? Oh. But when I hand a brown child a white band-aid, I am literally adding insult to injury. Really? Seriously? Like, seriously, who cares about the fridging color of a band-aid? Like, oh, my apologies. But it appears that we don't have any white gauze. So it appears that you'll have to sign this form to allow me to inhibit a black gauze for you. Meanwhile, I'm passed out from blood loss. 
<clears throat> okay, sir. Well, if you don't want the black guys, then I guess you'll just have to die from your racism. Eh, white people. Like, if I scraped my knee as a child, I wouldn't give a shit about what color the bandit is. Like, oops, sorry, but we don't have any black insulin, so you'll just have to suffer now. Like, these white saviors just hate anything that has to deal with white people. Almost to the point that I'm convinced that these white saviors just have a different form of Stockholm Syndrome. Like, they actively made themselves captives to the BLM movement and then stuck themselves onto anything they say and said because the only black people who they disagree with are the black people who disagree with the BLM movement. It's looking more and more like we just have to go out there. Attention patrons of Walmart. I am trying to conduct an interview with Tom Robb. Does anybody know Tom Robb by any chance? Raise your hand if you might know Tom Robb. That is kind of wild that he's doing that. Like, I mean, he's actively trying to put himself in a situation where he is like physically going to be harmed, potentially. You know what's so crazy? You know what's so crazy? I bet you all these people, when BLM was happening back in 2020 and stuff like that, they were reposting the black, uh, the black square and stuff like that, all that stuff, anything Black Lives Matter related, retweeting it and stuff like that. But I bet you these niggas would never leave their house, go into the field, because how are you going to stop racism if all you're going to do is just cancel it behind the screen? Like, you can't, bro. You're going to have to get down and dirty and get in the field and stuff like that. Again, a lot of this activism is performative. Yeah. Yeah. And these niggas are calling me a clown. This is the cringiest shit and stuff like that. But I bet you if you ask any of these people, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I'm totally against racism. But if I was to ask them to come out with me to help, like, make a change and stuff like that, these niggas would stay right in their chairs, bro. They would not fucking leave their house at all. They would stay right in their fucking chairs and just watch behind the screen. Yeah. Now, while I realized that in this clip of Jidian, it wasn't him going directly against the BLM movement, it was still of someone who I suspect to be part of the white savior shtick, like Hassan Piker, actively telling a black person what racism is. Isn't that crazy? A white person telling white people and black people what racism is. Like, I, I just can't wait until an Asian movement happens and then see what these saviors do. They'd probably start telling white people, black people, and Asian people what is and isn't racism. So once again, I believe that this whole white savior thing is just a modified version of Stockholm Syndrome. Prove me wrong. But I think that that's just about enough of this topic. So let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments. Do you agree with my final assessment or disagree? So, meanwhile you're down there, please consider hitting that subscribe button to become a fellow breadbag. And also hit that like button so that people who may not have seen this video can see this video. And then perhaps they will join the bread box because once again, we need more bread. But... I hope to see you in the next video, and until then, have a good one.